on the road again I go. Uh, this time I'm headed to go buy wood for my hammer handles. Very sunny out there today and hot as you know what. It's a long holiday weekend here and a lot of people have skipped town so there's not too many people on the road. area on my right is a small botanical garden. Pretty nice inside there. But first I need to make a pit stop to pick up some bird seed for the sparrows, doves, and other pigeon-like birds that won't leave me alone these days. This whole area here on both sides of the street sells nothing but birds and bird products. I'm not a fan of keeping birds in cages or tethered like parrots. Can you imagine being able to fly but not being allowed to fly? So getting seed for the poor wild city birds and so supporting these businesses is a tough decision. The natural order of things is way out of whack especially in big urban areas. Okay, I got the seeds, so time to skedaddle. This area within the alleys is, I guess what you would say, a red light district. And right now there's not many people here, but maybe one day when it's hustling and bustling, I'll ride my bicycle through some of the small alleys, maybe open up a few eyes.
a Riverside Park area. This stretch of road is for scooters and motorcycles and a way to avoid traffic lights and ease road congestion on the main road. Kind of a wormhole, if you will. the river there on my left. Suave there in front of me with the tank top has a ton of cologne on which is a lot better than BO I guess but in this hot weather it's just making me nauseous. Now we're heading out of the wormhole and back to the main road. I'm trying to remember which little alley to turn down. So here I am at the shop where I buy the wood. Inside here, it's kind of an eclectic mix of farm and cookware. I'll buy a couple sticks of this wood for my hammer handles. Still not sure exactly what type of wood it is. The boss always says a type of Asian ironwood. Traditionally, this wood is used for things like this hoe handle. The boss is off today, so his son helps me out. The boss used to be a woodworker, and I wouldn't be surprised if he made these benches. Really nice work. You can see I've got the wood on the floorboard and resting against my shoulder. I find this the easiest way to bring this wood home. This area is famous for its older architecture, 
and also traditional Chinese medicinal shops, uh, tea and coffee houses. Uh, when, when this place is hustling and bustling, I'll come back here and give you a tour of these little alleys and I think you'll find that pretty interesting. That's all for now. Catch you guys next time.